What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the Wiz Biz Washington Wizards Rebuild. We are down to our last two episodes. Unless you've been living under a rock, obviously NBA 2K23 is not released. And for the first time ever, I'm going to be jumping into a my NBA or my league, whatever you want to call it, right out of the gate. We're not waiting for draft classes. We're not waiting for 2K23 to update or patch anything. We're going to be transferring our content over there and starting an entire new rebuild. Make sure you're following me on Twitter and Twitch to stay in the loop about the information or different options I ask to the audience or to y'all uh, for input back on how we should do things or what team I should control or this, that, and the third. A lot of those questions are sometimes on Twitch, now that I'm back streaming, or on Twitter. Um, I even was asking if we should do the last episode of the WizBiz live on Twitch, and I got back mi mixed reviews uh, in the Twitch comments, but make sure you drop a comment right now and let me know what would you like to see. Would you rather see the last episode on YouTube, how we've been originally doing it, or would you rather us have one last stream on Twitch? So let me know. Um, this episode, we're in off season, and like I talked about in the last episode when our season came to an end, we're in that state where we don't have any crazy assets to really acquire a star that puts us in contention or close to contention. And we're also in a spot where we had a really good year, so we don't have any valuable picks or, you know, any 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 way to bring in some extremely good young talent to brighten up our future. So we have to figure out a direction and figure out what's going to be best for us moving forward, because one spot that I hate for NBA franchises is that stuck in the middle spot where you're not really, uh, you know, growing for your future and you're also not near contention, which you're just right there. So we got to figure some stuff out. I skipped player retirements and staff retirements because it kept kicking me. It kept, uh, what is it called? Closing app or freezing or bu being bugging out. So I'm hoping that we can continue to get through this. I'm now controlling all 30, to t all 30 teams to make sure we have no more problems. Uh, a lot of players did retire a little too early for my liking. As you can see, Dwight Howard, Carmelo, I retired. It is what it is at this point. Uh, Jersey retired. Kyle Lowry even retired. Just super crazy. Super, super crazy. But in order for it to stop closing app and freezing, we just got to go on with the flow. Uh, league meetings. We going to reject everything as always. Absolutely. And the draft lottery. This is a very important thing for us because somebody, where are they, owns our pick. I don't know what's the rules on our pick, but somebody else owns our pick. We also have the Warriors pick uh, for the first round pick that we got for them in that trade that we did. And voila. So we have the 20th pick via Golden State Warriors. The Knicks have our 18th pick, which should be ours. That, that sucks because we could have had two first round picks. But I do love the fact that we found a way to get back into the first round. So we do have a solid pick. Have no idea what we're going to trade. I mean, what we're going to draft with what we're going to be looking at to draft um so that's going to be something extremely interesting we got a bunch of available spots um on our staff we definitely got to find us a C cfo real quick looking for somebody that got the some high overalls and some good badges um he he has a snake so we're gonna stay away from him what else? 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 Let's just get this dude right. Definitely take that salary down a little bit. I'm a little cheap. I'm a cheap uh, GM. Take that salary down a little bit, my guy. We're going to offer you that. We're going to sign you. And we good. We're just going to move on to as far as we can. I'm just trying to get to the part where we can make this team better or worse. <laughs> The draft combine. We actually gonna look at the draft mock drafts because I want to see who do they have us take. They have the Knicks got the second pick. That's kind of wild considering everything that they did. So with the twentieth pick, they got us taking Frankie Collins. Okay, um, if I'm not mistaken, Frankie Collins actually transferred from Michigan. This one they have us taking Jordan Walsh, the McDonald American freshman going to Arkansas. And then on this mock draft, they have us taking Hunter Salas from Gonzaga. I like Hunter Salas a lot. We are going to be looking at a lot of different options. But the main thing I want to talk about is trades, right? So Bradley Beal was hurt. He's now healthy. He's the most polarizing player on our team because it's like Bradley Beal is extremely valuable. But is he the number one option on a team that can be at the top of the mountain? We don't know. Uh, most will say no. For us. We had a pretty good year. We were sixth. We won a couple series. 
um you know we, we met a match that was just too overpowering the answer or the question i have for myself is can i go out and get somebody that can be at his level or better to try to give us more of a gap when it comes to playing the competitive teams like boston who kind of just swept us to the side and we gotta we gotta look at different options there's no trades out here for anybody that's trying to get bradley beal for whatever thing so we're gonna go to propose trade for our damn self and we're gonna look around the league first and foremost i want to see teams that seem to be competitive but can use an upgrade at the shooting guard position so the 76 is, in, is interesting the fact that they have james harden they have tyrese maxi um they have tobias Thibault. no really power fours because pj tucker like kyle lowry also retired and then they have joel so i can see a situation where if we could come in and, and try to offer them bradley beal to give them a big three this is probably the situation where bradley beal thrives in the most where he's not necessarily your best player but he's still um you know he's still one of the top main options but he's surrounded by two other dominant players and if bradley bill is your third option you're probably on a championship team uh, so this would be this would be decent i don't know what they picks look like but we would definitely be interested in tyrese maxi maybe thibel i know we would probably have to take on the last year of tobias harris um for money reasons and if they had some future picks that would be an interesting option so we keep an eye on the philadelphia 76ers when we go to milwaukee Milwaukee is cool, but thing about Milwaukee is they don't have they don't have a young Tyrese Maxey that would in interest us or gauge our interest to even talk about a trade. The Bulls are set with Levine. Um, at this point, the Cavs don't have Donovan Mitchell. I may go in and make the Donovan Mitchell trade myself, just because why not? Um, the Celtics are interesting, but again, they don't have a young talent that I would really want. And I don't think they're trying to give up Jalen Brown after the season he just had against us in the playoffs. Specifically, the Clippers are loaded. Um, the Grizzlies are interesting, but like we saw in real life, they wasn't trying to give up Desmond Bain for Kevin Durant. So I don't I don't think Bradley Beal would be there. The Hawks have DeJounte. This is also an interesting situation. The Miami Heat, a team that is always rumored to be looking at Bradley Beal, connected with Bradley Beal. Obviously, you have Tyler Hero. What type of year did Tyler Hero have last year? Will we be interested in Tyler Hero? 18, 5, and 4 on 46% from the field, 40 from 3, 83 from, the th from free throw, and 31 minutes per game. That The Tyler Hero, Tyler Hero may be a solid option. I also would love to see the type of draft capital that the Miami Heat have. Um, Tyler Hero is also not under contract right now. So we may have to try to force a sign and trade under our own way. That's something 2K should implement, by the way. Don't know about 2K23 yet because I haven't played, but they, we, we need sign and trades um, in this game. Bradley Bill, LaMelo Ball backcourt. What, what, what are the draft picks? Who are some teams? Mock drafts. So the Pelicans have the number one overall pick, which is mind-blowing. Um, the Kings have the fifth overall pick. Could we talk with the Kings to try to get this pick? They get De'Aaron Fox, Bradley Beal, Savonis, Keegan Murray. That could be interesting. The Jazz have the third, the fourth overall pick and the sixth overall pick. I'm guessing that's from the Rudy trade. The Sixers have the seventh overall pick. That's a, that's that's nice. The Sixers have the seventh overall pick. So Tyrese Maxey, the seventh overall pick. Let's let's look at it. Let's look at it. Bradley Beal. That right there makes the money extremely close. Tyrese Maxey, please be under contract. Okay, Tyrese Maxey. Fiebel. That seventh pick, and we need. The future 20 they can't give us that one what about 26 27 what damn the stifling rule really kicking the sixes ass so they gave us 23 they can't trade 24 they don't have 25 so they can't trade 26 but why this is a protection backup so they can't okay 
We ain't gonna sweat it. We ain't gonna sweat it. I would do this trade. Oh, well, I'm controlling. <laughs> I'm controlling the Philadelphia 76ers. I have to let them make this decision on their own. This would be a good situation to be live streaming on Twitch right now because I would love to know y'all input. We got to control the Wizards. Proposed trade, Bradley Beal. Okay, Tobias Harris, Matisse Thybul, Tyrese Maxey, and that seventh overall pick. So, off top, our team would look like Tyrese Maxey. We would have Denny and Thybul. Whoever we draft with the seventh overall pick. And then we still have Gafford, Porzingis, and Rui are free agents. We still have Johnny Davis, who's a young player. We would go into a young direction extremely quick. And I would probably let a lot of these guys walk and open up that money to try to see what we could do. Do you want to force him to? Bradley Beal declines to wave. No. So I could force, yes. You're asking me to give away a valuable asset, the seventh overall pick, when none of the assets I get back is valuable. I'm trying to see if we have anybody under contract that could also help them. The line right may be a good one. So what the, the 76ers would look like this. Joel and well, James Harden at the one, Beal at the two. They don't have nobody at the damn three. They don't have a four. And they would have him beat. They would have to go out in free agency and make some things work. I'm trying to see if there's any. Yeah, we don't really have nobody that's. But that ain't our that ain't our that ain't our problem. That ain't our problem. You still got the top three heavy and you gotta fill the holes with the free agency. So yeah, and we yeah, we overriding. We we did the trade, y'all. So we got Maxi. Thibel. Tobias, and we have the seventh overall pick. This is going to be a very interesting year. Very, very interesting year. And I think because it is now, we're probably going to allow Porzingis, Rui, Josh Hart. Damn, I can't let them walk, though. But if there's a sign and trade we could do, like, let's hypothetically do this. Let's just say Przingis is on a contract. Let's see. Let's give Przingis. Let's give him one more year. But instead of the, the 30, let's give him around 15. Let's just say he get 15 per year from his next team. Right? So now let's try to trade Przingis and see who has interest in Przingis to do a fake sign and trade the james harden trade is crazy uh the bucks don't like though don't like uh shout out to cuzzo javon but we would need more him and him and marjan ain't enough to take up Przingis spot damar obviously not the clippers would be an interesting team for him but we would want more than norman powell i also got to remember it's Przingis, so i can't be too stingy some of these trades that they offer is just crazy bro the Kings. The Kings would be nice. Because now you can put him as a bonus in the front court with Fox. And they, ha they still have their pick. Do they have a young player, though? Or anybody we would be interested in? Rashawn Holmes. You know what? We'll get back to that. We're going to get back to that. We have to figure out who we take in 7th and 20th. I love Brandon Miller. Yeah, we got to get one of these Thompson twins. Asar Thompson. Hey, man, Thompson. Anthony Black, I like. Jordan Walker. Uh, who? Nick Smith. Got to put Nick Smith on there. Derek Lively Jr. Who else? Who else? Who else? Three Whitehead. Keontae Jewel. I don't think Keontae Jewel is falling seventh. 
um Jerace walker we'll look at jordan walsh dylan mitchell and we will look at how many oh we have no more invites cool let's go to the nba draft baby let's go to the nba draft let's oh shit i got a draft for everybody i forgot i'm controlling every team that i'm gonna pick we'll let it be victor I'm gonna just go off what they saying. Who was who the second? Who got? The, who pick is this? The Knicks. Scoot Henderson. Everybody saying Scoot is the second pick after Vic, so we gonna give him Scoot. Um, the Rockets. Who was the third prospect? Uh, Keontae George. Who is this drafting? I gotta pay attention to who's drafting. The Jazz. The Jazz can take any player. Whoever's the the highest guys at this point, the Jazz can take. They're going, we're gonna give them since these two guys are taken. We will give them. I'm gonna give them Brandon Miller. They got the they got Brandon Miller out of Alabama as the number one guy. So let's just take Brandon Miller. Oh, I think could sneak up that. I think I think Brandon Miller could be a guy that sneaks up. We have the Kings. I am going to give the Kings Nick Smith, put in the backcourt with De'Aaron Fox. Choose prospect for the Jazz again. I, they got to take one of the Thompson twins, right? Or let's take, let's give them. Where is my guy? They don't even have my boy up here. Get him Derek Lively, another big. We're going to take either Asar or Amen. Derek, oh, Derek Whitehead would have been a good one for them, but I think I gave him Brandon Miller already. We'll take Asar. And we we going, you know what? I'm going to just send him to the end. I don't care who we take at the 20th pick. I'm not going to lie. Who did we take? Long as I got that seventh pick, but I ain't want to drag. I don't want to drag through. We, we took Sky Clark. Not mad at that. Welcome to the team, Sky Clark. Rookie signing. We signing both. A lot of a lot of bots in here. So as long as they signing the right people, I'll be cool. Devontae Davis. You know what? We the y'all don't have to sign Devontae Davis. too many guys I don't know how the Knicks got five whatever picks cool team and player options now we getting saucy now we getting saucy we getting spicy this is the good part the Wizards we picking up Denny option Kispert I'm going to accept Josh Hart accepted his player option. Keon Johnson will be taking. Vernon Carey Jr. can go. Perfect. Perfecto. Qualifying offers. We'll submit one to Rui. Just in case. Now. LeBron James is a, is a free agent. We could have signed LeBron. We could have signed LeBron. Um, right now our roster. Tobias. We are we are we garbage right now y'all i ain't gonna lie we we garbage but we young we young we young we gonna look at bringing back our own players so Rui, he would want this is just unrealistic i don't even know what to give him but i'm gonna up it to like 10 at least give Rui about 10 over three i guess um see if he'll take that i'm looking for young talent to maybe try to throw bags at i'm i'm trying where's the affordable section all of the these are all the affordable players i'm trying to find some youth youth i'm just not seeing a whole bunch right now Rui is young DeAndre Hunter is young. 
Could we throw a bag at DeAndre Hunter? We we don't have enough room for DeAndre Hunter. Okay. Um, Colin Sexton. Do we have enough money for Colin Sexton? No. We don't have no money, man. We don't have money. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go to the cap holds. Przingis is a 50 million cap hold. Let him go. Let these two go. 50 million dollar cap hold. So now let's see if we have money for DeAndre Hunter. We don't. We don't, we don't, we don't. So we don't have no money. We're going to end up just bringing back Rui and I'm going to have to let some of these guys walk. Even Przingis, bro. Like, I don't think we can bring Przingis back, man. I honestly don't. They're not even giving us the option to bring Przingis back. That's because I gave Przingis the, the one year. I'm so, I'm t tweaking. Now let's try to find a trade for Przingis. Holy moly. Holy smokes. Trade finder. They're not even letting me select Przingis. Something is bugging about Przingis. I think it's still thinking he's a restricted free agent. There it is. So now here we go. I'm looking, we trying to look around the league and see teams that really would need Przingis and his stretch capabilities. I like this, the Sacramento connection because the Kings have De'Aaron Fox and Sabonis. They also now have Nick Smith. And they still have K Keegan Murray, Malik Monk, Kevin Herter. So the lineup could be one, two, three, Sabonis and Przingis. And then you could have, oh, I take that back. Their lineup could be De'Aaron Fox, Nick Smith, Keegan Murray could play the three or the four. Well, he has to play the three. You would have Sabonis and Przingis in the front court. And then off your bench, you have Kevin Herter and Malik Monk. That's not a bad team. Plus, Davion Mitchell is a restricted free agent that they'll bring back. Um, they don't really have shit to offer us except Rashawn Holmes. I guess we'll have to take the two seconds. And again, because the game keeps freezing and glitching, let's see hopefully if I can undo team selection. And just control the Wizards. Hopefully nothing stupid happens. So we can make these trades. Look around. Try to see if there's any other teams that could use Przingis. So obviously the Warriors. The Warriors good, man. They not giving up any of these guys for Przingis. They good. They good. They got Chet now. They got Eden. Those teams are young. Toronto. Toronto. But again, who they giving up? I don't see Toronto giving up any of those guys. The Kings may be the best. They got Vic. The Pelicans got Victor now. With Miyama. Uh. Pacers are just too young. Brooklyn Nets. The Brooklyn Nets, huh? I would probably, okay. Y'all gave a first round pick for Royce O'Neal. Ah, the stifling rule. Just give us these two seconds then. We're not getting, damn. Okay, what if we take one of the second round picks? What if we take both away? Damn, okay. So they, they really they really believe in those young guys over there, I see. I was going to try to get Cam Thomas and, and Nicholas Claxon and let Cam Thomas come over here and cook. I The best option is looking like the Kings. I'm not going to lie. Rashawn Holmes, Przingis, and y'all give us two second round picks. Cause y'all are the kings, y'all gonna need y'all first round picks. I ain't even gonna hold you. We like, no, y'all taking this damn trade. I'm tired of teams just declining, just to decline. 
Do you want to override? Yes. I want to override the trade. I don't understand why. Y'all are here live watching. I don't. I just don't understand what's going on. I don't understand. I just overrode the trade, and they still didn't. They still saying, "Hey, nah, we like what we have." If we bring back Rui Hachimura, we'll have to make the Przingis trade after free agency, I see, because it got him bugged out a little bit. So we brought back Rui. Right now, as of today, our starting lineup would probably be Markel. I'm not even sold on Markel. Markel may be on the block. We may be putting Markel on the block. We may ride with Tyrese Maxey at the one, Johnny Davis at the two. Maybe Asar plays a three. No, no, no. Asar, you got to come off the bench this year. Yeah, we're going to go Maxi Davis, probably Denny, Tobias, and probably Gafford. And we'll have Rashawn Holmes after we do the Kings trade for Przingis. We're going to be young, man. We're going to be young. Hopefully, we can try to move Tobias Harris at the trade deadline. We're going to have a lot of minutes for a lot of players. He's going to play. He can play. He should get minutes. He should. So, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 he's back with i forgot yeah we got about 13 we got about 14 bodies we could really be playing scott clark probably won't get a lot of minutes this year we still got to try to get keon johnson and isaiah todd some minutes we're gonna have a big big deadline sale for contending teams tobias harris is gonna be available not sold on markel he may be available denny's locked in gafford should be locked in Thibel, Maxi, Johnny Davis, Kispert are locked in. Asar is locked in, but Josh Hart could be available. Um, Rui could be available. Markel and Tobias. So we got about five guys that may become available. Well, at least four of my locks in to be available. As far as free agency, I don't, we don't really have any room to do anything else. We can't sign nobody. So we're just going to have to thug through it and see, see how the rest of free agency goes and see where everybody ends up. And hopefully after this free agency, we can we can figure out this trade with Przingis. So now let's try to do this trade. It's going to be a signing trade. Przingis goes to the Kings. They give us homes. We get the second round picks. They're going to decline it. We're going to still force them. Why is it? I don't understand what... Do you want to override this trade? Yes. I, I just don't understand what is what's stopping us from making this trade happen. This trade override off. No, it's on. Let's try it on and off. Now let's try this one more time. And this is why I'm not gonna lie, this is why I'm kind of ready to move on into the next game because why all of a sudden and now the, tr the the trade bar is off did i go in and turn the trades off like now we can't do any trades at all because the summer league is here we're gonna skip past the summer league um and try to get into the next season because I'm, I'm ready to make this this Przingis trade like i cannot that finally can we make this trade happen Przingis to the Kings. I, I don't understand, y'all. I don't understand. This is why I need to stream the rest of this whiz biz because maybe somebody can help me. Maybe it's something I'm doing and y'all are watching like, P, P, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? advance to the next season please let's get to the next season thank you thank you thank you now for the last time of this episode i'm going to try to trade chris Stapps Przingis to the sacramento kings for rashawn holmes and two second round picks the game is broken y'all the game is broken. Is it because of me editing Przingis and giving him one more year? Like I did that. I've done that so many times. It makes no sense that it would not work now.
it makes no sense and i'm so glad that i'm capturing this happen because these are the bugs that creators go through with 2k and this is how it becomes exhausting to try to finish series after series because i cannot make the trade we're gonna leave the episode like this we just gonna wrap it up right here i have no idea what's going on I don't know why I cannot make this trade for anything. Chris Stapps Przingis is probably just going to be here for this year because the game is broken. Um, next episode is going to be the last of this series. I appreciate everybody who came through and watched every single episode. Hopefully the next series that we do on NBA 2K23 can be so much better and we can have a lot more fun. Um, and it won't be so buggy with all of these crashes and stuff like that but i appreciate y'all let me know in the comments uh ideas for the next series that we do in 2k23 as always i appreciate y'all i am out peace